We know that a battery can be created by suspending two different metals in an acid. Lemons contain citric acid. If we insert a galvanized nail coated in zinc into one side of our lemon, then make a slit and insert a copper penny in the other side, we should have a battery. The voltmeter confirms that our two metals, zinc and copper, suspended in the lemon's citric acid, create a measurable voltage, in this case just over one volt. The red lead from the meter connects to the plus side of the battery, the black lead to the minus side. Reversing the leads, we see a minus sign on the meter, meaning I have the leads connected backwards. The copper penny is the plus terminal of this battery. Let's connect an LED to this lemon battery. LEDs are a special type of low voltage, low current device. They can easily be damaged by high current. The letters represent the three words, light emitting diode. Connecting our LED, I can now detect a very tiny glow. Dimming the room lights and looking closely, we can see our LED is glowing. Four lemons create enough voltage and current to create a very dim glow. LEDs are available in different colors and sizes. This is a clear, high intensity LED. When connected to our lemon battery, a dim red glow is visible. If you would like to connect large numbers of lemon batteries, you can actually cut the lemons into quarters or smaller and each piece will work as a separate battery cell. When doing this, be careful when cutting and make sure that the area between each lemon piece is dry. If the pieces are joined by spilled lemon juice, it will affect the output of the battery.